Jean Baptiste Point du Sable was the first settler of the Chicago area. He settled in the late 18th century near the mouth of the Chicago River. The abolition of slavery was an important part of Chicago. John Jones was an ex-slave who was an integral part of the Underground Railroad. There were many safe houses in and around Bronzeville. early 1900s, the Great Migration started. Southern blacks moved to the southern side of Chicago. Bronzeville became a vibrant community, inhabited by musicians, businessmen, entrepreneurs, and millionaires. Bronzeville boasted having the first black-owned bank and insurance company. Jazz and blues artists such as Louis Armstrong and Nat King Cole lived in Brownsville. YMCA is considered the first African-American Y in the U.S. It continues due to the support of the many black churches in the area. Black History Month is considered to have started here. Ida B. Wells was a civil rights activist during this time as well. She was an organization for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. At this time, Bronzeville is known as the Black Metropolis. After World War II, Bronzeville lost its luster. Businesses shut their doors and African Americans moved farther south. Nearly a third of the housing stock in Bronzeville became vacated. Public housing was built in the late 1960s along with the Dan Ryan. They were called the Robert Taylor Homes and they were demolished in 2007. In the 1990s and present day, Bronzeville has become refurbished and the community has become a prominent and historical neighborhood. So there are two newspapers, the Chicago Defender and the Chicago Bee. So this was the Chicago Bee. And now it's a library. Architecture is obviously a really important part of Bronzeville. Um, the Illinois Institute of Technology is situated right in the heart of it, and it highlights that with its architecture program. Um, something else that Bronzeville has to offer is a proposal memorial that's being set to Ida B. Wells, and also the Mecca Flats building is a significant piece of architecture in the area. It's been even highlighted in songs and poetry, so it's a pretty big deal. Architecture in this area is also focusing on the idea of sustainability and creating a community that can last. So apartment complexes such as the Rosenwald building are looking at creating rooftop gardens. But even though this 
part of the community is looking toward the future and being sustainable and going green. Not everything about Brownsville is perfect. Obviously, like we've talked about in class, Chicago is broken as well as beautiful. So it's worth mentioning that Bronzeville has the two polar opposites of beautiful mansions with fantastic detail and architecture, as well as the really run-down parts of the area with um, public housing and things that aren't so fantastic. To a lot of neighborhoods in Chicago, Bronzeville doesn't have a lot of fresh produce or places to buy groceries. However, they have a lot of great comfort food. Some of the restaurants they have include Chicago's home of the chicken and waffle, Pearl's Place, our favorite, the Ain't She Sweet Cafe, and the Sweet Potato Cafe. When driving down Martin Luther King Drive into Bronzeville, you are welcomed by the monument to the Great Northern Migration. This monument is a testimony to the thousands of African Americans who migrated to Chicago in the 20th century looking for better opportunities. This man has his right hand raised, saluting his new home, while his left hand is carrying a suitcase representing his dreams and talents. This is one of the more popular monuments in Bronzeville. So here's the Douglas tomb. The Victory Monument is another popular monument in Bronzeville. It is in honor of the 8th Regiment of the Illinois National Guard, a unit of African Americans who served in World War I. The man on top of the monument is in representation of the men who died in the war. Not only is Bronzeville filled with many different monuments, it is also filled with very large murals and small art galleries filled with local artists' work. 